Hi everyone. Welcome back to the sunny side. These are the weekly horoscopes for the week of April 18th to April 22nd. 2022 for all zodiac signs. Before we begin. There are timestamps in the description box for those who would like to skip ahead in the video to their individual sign. There is also a PayPal link in the description box if you'd like to book a private reading with Sunny. And finally. This video also has closed captions and subtitles enabled. So turn them on. One double finally. Sunny decided to translate these horoscopes into Spanish for fun. So. If you'd like to hear the horoscopes in Spanish then simply follow the link in the description box. Everyone ready? Okay. Here we go. This week. The moon will begin in. Sneaky. Sexy. Solitary. Scorpio then transit into. Philosophical. Fun. And outgoing. Sagittarius. This means we'll all begin the week with an investigative Scorpio vibe. And then when our curiosity is satiated. We'll all get out and have some fun. Sunny wants to put in a little reminder for everyone. The Scorpio moon can make people walk behind the veil so be careful at the beginning of the week for wandering monsters coming out of the woodwork. Venus will be making a light aspect to Uranus causing unexpected behaviors in love. As always. It can go either way so be careful. Jupiter is beginning to separate from Neptune so we can all expect the rose-colored glasses to slowly come off. The emphasis though is on slowly. As love definitely hovers in the air. Just expect cracks to begin to show in the sexy hot armor as you make the transition into your new long-term commitment. Next. Saturn is squaring the moon's nodes. Sunny says good luck player. This is not a dice game and it's your role. What? Okay. Saturn is restriction and hard work and discipline. And that is the good side of it. On the downside. Saturn takes away. And gets really angry when you don't use coasters. So. Watch where you put your drink or Saturn won't give you another one. Saturn is also where you are currently facing some sort of torment. Like it just stresses you out. And you would rather be doing anything but whatever simple walk your donkey thing Saturn currently wants you to do. I know right. It can suck. But you should still do it. Big astro note from Sunny here. He says. If you don't face your Saturn torment. You will not make it to the other side. It's a similar lesson as the moon card in the tarot. Keep in mind. Saturn is actually represented in the world card but we will get to that in a minute. First. The moon card has a wolf and a hand facing towards the reader. This means there is a subconscious fear that has to be overcome to allow yourself to be truly reborn into the light of a new day. And progress to the sun card. So. You really have to do it or you're going to be stuck there for another couple of lifetimes or crappy relationships. To continue. Saturn is actually represented in the world card in the major arcana of the tarot. And this generally means karma. The world card asks if you've learned your most difficult lessons. And if you're ready to move on to the next chapter in your story. Everybody cool. Because. Here we go. You're going to take all of that Saturn stuff we just talked about and apply it to a square to the nodes. Ouch. Okay. Not necessarily. Let's look away for a moment from the internal struggles and external realities. And just pretend for a moment that you actually can do whatever is stressing you out. Because whether you realize it or not. Sunny says you can do it. So let's pretend that it actually is dice time. You fight for a little space and take a deep breath. But then the square aspect suddenly hits. And you're suddenly not so sure which way to go. It's not necessarily indecision because you should be well prepared by your Saturn trials but. And here's the tug at the Shazam. There are two nodes and they are opposite. So even if you can lay some gas down on the action. What are you going to play? The north node wants to go forward but the south node wants to go home. Sunny says. It's game on player. What's the action? Dear Aries. A leadership opportunity exists for you to take control of the group and set out on a wonderful adventure. Not really but maybe. It's been a chore inspiring the troops and you're probably wondering if it's all worth it or if you should just throw your hands in the air and. Peace out. You know that you'll eventually require their help or at least. Their admiration so you'll have to hunker down and do it. The downside is something is going to drain strike your bank account so keep your eyes open. Love smiles brightly from a hidden source. Make sure you look twice because a secret playmate is waiting. Make Uranus happy and explore the unexpected when love catches hold of electricity. The light shines on a painful change at the office. That's a lot of cryptic writing Sunny. Okay. Aries. Keep your eyes open for secret or hidden opportunities for love and money. And your friends will stress you out but you'll have a lot of fun in the second half of the week. Good luck Aries. Dear Taurus. You're still attracting love on social media and through the group so if you see a little wink wink action you might want to skip coffee and take that smoothie directly to the desert bar. Now. Sunny is definitely not encouraging every Taurus out there to roll in the field with every farmer's helper that comes around to visit. But should your eyes spy a beefy man which just sitting there unattended. You might want to take a chance on the calories. Okay. 
Taurus. Whatever the hell Sunny was talking about plus. It's a great time to push the internet. Venus and Jupiter are bringing love and attraction to your online ventures. And Saturn is putting in just enough hard work at the office to keep the peeps from riding your lightning. You can succeed right now so keep going and don't be discouraged by false promises and always remember dear Taurus. Rock stars marry supermodels. So, if you're a dancer or a yoga instructor, and some lucky smile walks into your orbit, make sure you check his IMBD before you let him backstage. If it's love then he'll wait in the alley for a couple of minutes. Just remember. And this goes for everyone. If he waits in that alley too long then he's not a rock star. He's paparazzi looking for a photo. But then again paparazzi need love too. It's up to you Taurus. Good luck. Dear Gemini. It's time to TCB. With the sun entering Taurus you'll want to clean up any spills and generally clean house. Keep in mind peeps will begin creeping into your action so double lock the doors and close the blinds. Eyes are prying and you'll want to be ready. You are also super popular right now but haters will be lining up so be forewarned but get out there and do your best. Right now. It's like everywhere you go it's both busy and filled with the peeps. Why the ass hell is everyone suddenly sinking and cramping your alone time? All at the same time. Well Gemini. That's kind of just the way it is right now. Look for Geminis to be in the news and mulling around outside. It's really going to be weird. Keep your eyes open for it. And. Double definitely look your best when you walk the dog. Obviously. It's an amazing time to look for a new job and to push the publicity button. Something from a distance will cramp your action behind the scenes so keep your eyes open for lurkers. Dear Cancer. Shared resources require a big decision this week. Saturn's square to the nodes indicates indecisiveness with regard to a shared expense. Should you put all of your effort into moving forward or should you put all of your effort into rebuilding the past? That's the major question to keep in your mind as the week plays out. This indecisiveness plays out in your eighth house of sex. Death. Taxes. Paying for other people. And undiagnosable illnesses. That's messed up. So cancer. You only have so many hands and so many hours in a day and so many Fs to give so what? You might also feel unappreciated for your continued efforts. Sunny says Saturn will linger on in your eighth house for the rest of the year so whatever you decide. You should know in advance that the problem isn't really going away anytime soon. Just know that you can survive this and come out stronger on the other side. Love is totally waiting at a distance. And they are getting pushy. More than likely you're the one instigating the conversations but however they began. Love is waiting at a distance. Dear Leo. The week begins with an emphasis at home then shifts midweek to full on love and romance. Woot woot. If you follow the moon and its emotional influence as it makes its monthly transit. You'll see that this is simply the week you might spruce the place up a bit. You don't have to repaint any walls. Just throw a couple of colorful pillows and sweep up the place. A loving and playful mood is on the way and you'll want the playpen to have an extra sparkle when it does. Okay Leo. Here's what you really need to know. This week something unusual is going to catch you of guard very publicly. Expect some unusual praise or recognition. For better or worse. An eccentric and unpredictable energy hovers over your career and public image. It's all cool and you should be in the right place at the right time. Again. It'll be unexpected and unusual but do your bet to be prepared when opportunity for fame and recognition come knocking. Sunny says that was a little wordy. Just be cool Leo and keep things loose for a while. Lol. No Leo. Sunny says you should do your best to express your creativity and uniqueness. Your individuality is being appreciated. Dear Virog. Sunny is super proud of all of you. Even the ones who leave comments without watching the videos first. Seriously. Why would you do that? Oh. And of course the Virogs who are dating crazy water signs like Scorpios or Pisces. Again. Sunny wants to know Virog why. Okay let's do some horoscopes. Dear Virog. For better or worse you might have a sudden opportunity to travel. If opportunity knocks. Grab your passport and go. Now here's the good stuff. Someone wants to make your scene a permanent chapter in their love story. Normally. It would be an obvious yes but right now Mars has just entered into Pisces. And this will shake up an otherwise fairly healthy love game. Bummer. Take it all with a grain of salt Virog. You know how it goes. You have all of these wonderful opportunities but one guy is too fast and the other is too slow. And maybe the guy you really like is a little broke ass. What are you going to do? There is love waiting dear Virog. The planets just want you to make an honest choice about what's perfect for you. Next month the energy will shift to joint finances and the money you can make with someone else. But for now just enjoy the love while it's there. Dear Libra. It's going to get a little raunchy but the unexpected is happening in your 8th house. So although Sunny likes to joke with you guys. Take everything with a grain of salt until we get back to the fun. Dear Libra. 
Unexpected health situations might literally cramp your action when you step out. So dress up some sports sleeves with that hot tennis skirt before you hit the coffee shop for your heart-breaking fun. A legal situation might come to a surprise resolution and money could be on the way. Obviously. Don't spend what you don't have and save for a rainy day blah blah. You know what to do. You should also watch for unexpected sex bumps and leaks. On top of all of that Libra. You have to watch for general bumps. Bruises and general accidents to yourself and your pets. Like Sunny said. It's going to be tough on your body. You'll be okay. Just watch for bumping into things that might leave a mark. You might also find yourself entering into a cycle where you find yourself having to take care of someone or nurse someone back to health. Love is going to drag ass for a while so you might as well focus on your health and getting that hot body back in shape. Secret astrology note. With Mars leaving the fifth house. Things should calm down with the kids but they will still require your attention for the rest of the year. Dear Scorpio. Saturn continues to snipe up a fuss at home and Mars just entered into your fifth house of having fun. Just in time to spice things up and potentially bite the juicy wang of love. That's actually a bad thing Sunny. Okay. Whatever. On a side note. Sonny says to watch for accidental pregnancies and public drunkenness. He says you are totally going to knock someone up so he'll see you in nine months. And. Remember to share the video and maybe even watch it in Spanish to see if you'll get lucky in a different language. Astrology doesn't necessarily work like that but it could be fun. Next. Dear Scorpio. Relationships will bump. Grind. And flip the script. Just be cool when Prince Charming leaves the seat up. It doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing but stay on top of your love game. You should also watch out for something at home leading to a potential legal situation. Papers will unexpectedly have to be signed. You are going through a super major flux this year and whoever you are right now simply isn't going to make it. On the plus side. You already have all of the seeds you need to succeed. Good luck Scorpio. It is what it is. Dear Sagittarius. You're going to be chill as the week begins. The Scorpio moon is okay for your vibe. And it will make you reclusive and withdrawn. But so what? It's not the problem. No. The problem is the Scorpio moon is highlighting all of that granola free jazz Birkenstock good time Pisces action that although it looks like fun on the surface. It's not really the Sagittarius jam. Sunny gets it. Pisces is foo foo woo woo wtf are we doing. Sagittarius is more. Let's go ziplining. Then have some wine. Watch the sunset. And go fool around behind that tree. I think it's fun. Great things should be happening at home but the good times were probably moving a little slowly. With Mars entering the game. There's a strong possibility that you'll move shortly or put in some major elbow grease to renovate or to upgrade the house. You can make money from the home right now but there can just as easily be a big expenditure. Sunny says. A guest bedroom with a mini fridge and a little dog bed is a good move. Especially if there are any saggies out there who might ever expect Sunny to drop in for the weekend. Super high-speed Wi-Fi and the sports channel would also be a nice touch. Keep your eyes open this week for a freak accident. Seriously watch your health and the health of your pets. Uranus is going to be active this week. And it will definitely have an impact on your pets so keep your eyes open on your four-legged buddies as well. Dear Capricorn. Although Sunny keeps warning Capricorn that they might be getting accidentally pregnant. He wants Capricorns to know that they can just as easily get someone else pregnant this week as well. Good. Now that everyone is on the same page. Dear Capricorn. A creative project will get an unexpected shot in the arm. You might as well ask for a little help this week. Even if you don't currently require any extra hands. A little yesterday will go a long way down the road when the seeds begin to sprout. It's okay to be a little aggressive when pursuing your goals this month. You'll be extra pushy working the phones. But once again, the squeaky wheel will be getting the grease. So, once again Capricorn. Make sure you do some squeaking. You should already know to watch your driving but you're going to be in a rush running errands so be careful for bumps. In other words dear Capricorn. Your mind is blazing with creative possibilities right now so make sure you write everything down and even blog about it a little. You won't be able to hold back once the floodgates open so make sure you know what message you'd like to present before you pick up that phone. Dear Aquarius. An unexpected expense at home threatens to break the bank. Not really. Be cool Aquarius. Something is going to happen at home and it might actually make you some money. On the other hand. There might be an expense that is for your long term good. There's also a possibility that you'll have a sudden opportunity to sell your house and move. There might also be a sudden electrical problem. That's a lot of unexpected possibilities but what can you do? Keep your eye turned toward the home just in case anything funny happens out of the blue. What else Sunny? Okay. Here we go. Dear Aquarius. Money was good and your efforts are being rewarded but with Mars entering Pisces. You're going to be filled with an urge to break the bank and splurge. Just be gentle when pruning the money tree. It took you a long time to build that nest egg. 
and the combination of Neptune and Jupiter is making you more financially optimistic than usual so be cool when cutting coupons or watching infomercials. On the other hand, if you really want it, then it's up to you. Just remember that the moon is transients the top of your chart this week so instead of buying stuff, you might splurge for a good time out with the peeps. Dearest Pisces, an unexpected conversation is going to pave the way for a personal breakthrough. Work the phones, check your inbox, and send a pigeon or two. Anything can happen this week if you put the words into the air or simply voice your desires. You're also still looking really good and Sunny says you should really milk this transit for all you can get. So, sell it. Sell it sell it. Your ideas will meet least resistance if you follow them up with a wink. A nod. And maybe do that Pisces thing where you swim around in circles and snuggle up and warm the mood. Sunny wants us to take a special time out here and remind all male Pisces that although the pull towards love will be very strong. And your desires for emotional connection will override common sense. You should avoid peeing on anyone's feet until you find out if they are available. After that, you are on your own. Okay. Next. Dearest Pisces. Here's the good news. Mars is entering your first house of ego. Identity. And let's go get some action. This begins your two-year cycle of going after what you really want in this world. Sunny says to show some confidence and a little skin. It's time for fish love to do that wiggle dance and attract some good time action. Before you go please subscribe to the channel and share the horoscopes. Wishing everyone the best from the sunny side.